Hello, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. How are you doing today? Hi, teacher. Good evening. Hi, teacher. Hi, fine. All right. Excellent. Excellent. Are you ready for your English class? Yes, I'm ready. Yes, I am. Okay, yes, very good. Thank you. Who can tell me what information do you remember about the previous class? What information do you remember about the previous class? What vocabulary? What topics? What conversation? What do you remember? Imperatives. Very good. That is correct. We were analyzing imperatives. Can somebody give me an example of an imperative? You don't drink. You have a rest. Very good. Don't drink. Have don't rest. Drink, don't drink soda, coffee. After. And uh, take a two pills. Take a pill. That is correct. So this is vocabulary that we were analyzing in yesterday's class. I would like for everybody to please listen and repeat. Listen and repeat. Are you ready? Yes. yes. This is imperative practice. This is a review. Eat breakfast. Eat breakfast. Mm -hmm. Go for a walk. Go for a walk. It's breakfast. Floss your teeth. Go for a Floss walk. Floss your teeth. Drink eight cups of Floss water every teeth. day. Drink eight cups of water every day. Stretch for five minutes. Stretch for five minutes. Stretch for five minutes. Wear a seatbelt. Wear a seatbelt. Do something to challenge your brain. Do something to challenge for your uh, brain. Oh, sorry, guys. Uh, you have a question. Hello? Uh, somebody raise your hand. Alguien levantó la mano? No? Mm, okay. Creo que vi que alguien levantó la mano. Sorry. Um, repeat one more time. Protect your skin. Protect your skin. Get enough calcium. Get enough, Get enough calcium. calcium. Take a time out. Take, Take a, time a time out. out. A, break a, break a break. a break of about 20 minutes. Of about, about 20, minutes. 20 minutes. Okay. So for the following activity, what we're going to do is look at the next one. Any questions related to yesterday's activities? No, no question. Excellent. No. Okay, so we're gonna go to 3.0 lesson objective. By the end of this class, you will learn vocabulary for stores and other places and discuss where you can get different things. Al final de esta clase, aprenderán vocabulario sobre tiendas y otros lugares y discutirán dónde pueden conseguir different, cosas diferentes. Vocabulary, places and things. Listen, please. Listen, please. Places and discuss where you... Hi, everyone. In this class, you Todos escuchan? Can you hear? Yes, teacher. All right. Yes, teacher. Yes. All right. All right. Different things. Let's get started by listening and practicing. One. You can buy aspirin at a drugstore. Two. You can buy bread at a supermarket. Three. You can buy a dictionary at a bookstore. Four. You can buy gasoline at a gas station. Five. You can buy a sandwich at a restaurant. Six. You can buy stamps at a post office. Seven. 
You can buy a sweatshirt at a department store. Eight. You can buy traveler's checks at a bank. What I would like for you to do next is to practice the vocabulary that we just learned. For example, you can pay bills at a bank. You can buy shoes at a department store. After you complete this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. All right. So for this activity, what you're going to do is at you're going to store. give me a couple of examples. I want you to write at least five examples here in the discussion forum. For example, you can buy clothes in a mall. You can buy medicine in a pharmacy. You can drink a coffee in a coffee shop. You can buy fruit in a supermarket. You can buy food in a restaurant. You will give me at least five examples on the platform. Any questions? Any questions? No, no questions. No teacher. No right. teacher. You will have five minutes, five minutes, and then we will check in groups. Hello. Hey, what's going on? How are you, Rafael? I'm fine, thank you. What about you, teacher? Very good, very good. Here, enjoying this beautiful rainy day. Oh, yes. The weather is, is nice. It's, it's I so cool. love it. I love it. Yes, me too. Hello, hello, Samuel. Hello, Samuel. Ah, yeah. Okay. Hello, I guess that did. Oh, sorry. I can't. Be chair. ¿Cuál lección era la? 3.1, eh, video 1.1, abajo en la discusión. Cinco ejemplos de los que no están ahí escritos. Mm -hmm. Usando you, you can. Hi everyone. In this class, you learn the vocabulary, ejemplo. the words, and other okay. language, and discuss where you get different things. Let's get started by listening and practicing. One, you can buy aspirin at a drugstore. Two, you can buy. Creo que hace falta la gasolinera. <laughs> ¿Cómo? Ah, dentro de los ejemplos que, que tiene ahí, hace falta la gasolinera. You can. Mm, yo no los logro ver. Están bien pequeños. Vamos sí, a ver. Sí. Dice you Pero can. Pero no podemos usar otras aparte. Ah, ah, bueno. No puedo verlo yo. Uh, a gas station, dice. You can. You can. 
a gas station. Ese es otro ejemplo. Esta está guión, se escribe, ¿verdad? A la derecha con dirección a 67 Avenida Sur. Eh, cual, es, estatio, ajá, estatio. Eh, está otro ejemplo que dice Aban, el banco. Um, yo puedo, ah, pero en el caso del banco, bueno, a comprar una chequera sería. Uh -huh. Pero yo puedo, you can, you can, a bank. Uh, van eh, chequera si no sé cómo se escribe ahorita chequera ¿Ya? y el caso bueno sería el adjetivo van y después chequera eh, así está bien yo creo a van chequera uh, si no es sé que cómo. no yo creo que no vaya en los ejemplos dice you can buy be bill Bill at a bat. Ah, sí, perdón. O sea, tenemos que como hacer una oración completa, porque ahorita prácticamente dice you can a gas. Entonces, bye. Pero you can a qué? O sea, yo puedo un gas estación. O sea, yo puedo, sí, podría sí. ser comprar gas en la estación. Ajá. Yo puedo. Comprar. Sería, siempre sería. O sea, gas station es como la estación, ¿verdad? Entonces sería, yo, um, yo puedo, you, you can buy eh, gasolina, pero gasolina es como gas. Ay, se me había desconectado. <risa> ya vine. Ah, bueno. Mm, pero no me carga la... Yo puedo no me carga comprar. la plataforma. Se me fue el internet. Yo puedo Ay, comprar no. gasolina. Es una gasolinera. <risa> no, Ajá. Así. No, yo puedo comprar gas en la, en la estación. También podría ser. Ya, porque así viene siendo. Yo podría comprar gas. O yo podría comprar en la gasolinera. Podría comprar cualquier cosa. Yo puedo comprar comida en la gasolinera. Ajá. Ay, no me carga. No tengo internet. No. Hay no. que ¿no? Ay, no. A ver, a ver. A Ridi. Buy food in. Ah, gasolinera, gasolinera. Bueno, nosotros así lo decimos, pero allá no sé. Gas station. Ajá. A ver. I can uh, uh, ready buy food at the gas station. Uh -huh. Así sería. Yo puedo comprar comida en la gasolinera. Uh -huh. Vale. Sí, vamos. Uh -huh. La otra sería I can pasaje 2 hacia 67 avenida sur a continuación gira a la derecha con dirección a 67 avenida sur ah, ya me conecto vamos a ver bueno solo que pongamos de nuevo el ejemplo de la farmacia sí se me borró se me borró otra vez era I can buy a este eh, de acuerdo a, a Google es I can already, already buy food at the gas station yo lo estaba consultando pero no sé si será correcto pero igual este es que por ratos usar el traductor de Google es un tanto complicado porque no aplica la gramática ah entonces I can buy food At the gas station. Así. Ajá. 
Ya lo borré, ya lo corregí. Bye. Entonces. El restaurante, eh, el banco, la farmacia, el supermercado. ¿Qué más tenemos? Hay que... Podemos decir, hay que, yo puedo comprar pescado en el supermercado. Ah, I can buy. I can buy. Eh, I can buy fish. fish. Sí, es más fácil. Ajá. En el supermarket. In the market. In the market. Market. Me ha ido. Market. Eh, Luego la farmacia. Super, ¿cómo es? Supermarket, es eh, verdad. Supermarket. Sí, supermarket. Supermarket. Um, también podría ser, podría ser, ay, ¿qué? yo puedo comprar aspirinas. Creo que ellos tenían el ejemplo de la aspirina. Yo puedo comprar aspirinas en la farmacia. Sí. O yo puedo encontrar. Sí, está bien. Aspirina. Encontrar. Aspirina, se me olvidó cómo se escribe. Ya le digo. Y quiero escribir. Aspirina. Aspirin. 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 In the, in the drought, creo que es. Acá, ah, sí, de draw, oh, bueno, no lo puedo pronunciar. Acá en, en, en la plataforma dice, you can buy medicine in the pharmacy. Ah, ya. Yeah. No sé, pero ¿por qué es dicen que, así? ¿Por cuál porque es en, esta, en Estados Unidos le dicen draw a las farmacias, tengo entendido. Porque ya vi un estudio acerca de eso y eran más que todo las draw. No farmacia. En sí todos lo, los medicamentos son, son drogas. Por eso, drag. Ah. Ajá. Es drag. Puede ser drag o puede ser entonces farmas. Ah, la do, de las dos la do, la do formas, ¿se comprende? Ajá, tendría que ser válida de las dos maneras. Farmacia. Sacó de... Ajá, y ahorita volví a entrar. Ah, ¿qué pasó? All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back. Is everybody finished or do you need more time? I'm finished. finished. Excellent. Finished. Excellent. Awesome. Awesome. Um, let me have one volunteer, please. Let me have one volunteer, please. Me? All right, go ahead. Let me listen to your examples. Uh, you can buy food at the rest supermarket. Perfect. You can buy food at the supermarket. Another example, somebody else? You can drink beer at the bar. Perfect. You can drink beer at the bar. Another example. You can buy paint in the hardware shop. Okay, you can buy paint in the hardware shop. Excellent. At this moment, does anybody have any questions related to this activity? No, no question. Okay. Now I would like for us to move forward and we're going to be looking at the next activity. 3.2, knowledge check, instructions. Listen to the Anderson family's conversations to answer the questions. Click here to listen. Click here to understand. 
Page 87. Page 87. Exercise 2. Exercise 2. Listening. I need a new swimsuit. I need a new swimsuit. Part A. Part A. Listen to the Anderson family's conversations. Where is Jean going to buy need? the swimsuit? Where are they going that to buy she them? needs. Complete the chart. At the supermarket. One. Jean, are you going to go to the beach with us tomorrow? Yes, but I need a new swimsuit. I'm going to go to a department store this afternoon. At the department one. store. Good. Awesome. Can I go with you? Do you know I what is a uh, department too. store? Do you know what is a department store? Tienda de departamento. Correct. Por departamento, algo así, voy a hacer la, la publicidad como Simán, que tiene varias, va, varias ventas de cosas dentro del mismo almacén. That is correct. Very good, Olga. Excellent. Does anybody have any questions related to this activity? Okay. You will have five minutes to work in pairs, help each other, and then we're going to check it as a class. Do you understand? Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes, teacher. Are you ready? Yes. yes. Okay. Let's do it. Hello. Okay. Eh, compartiré. Ahí está. Okay. Number one. Where is Jane going to buy the swimsuit that she needs? Según el audio, sería at the department the store. Department store. Excellent. Okay, number two. What does mom need from the supermarket? Eh, ponemos el audio o que cada una lo escuche. Pongamos el audio, aprovechando okay, que está. Ahorita lo voy a compartir entonces. Voy a volver a ahí. Ahí está. Está cargando. Uh -huh. Oh, ah, no, ya no está cargando. Sí. Sorry, sorry. Sorry about that, guys. Um, una consulta. ¿Necesitan más tiempo o ya terminaron? I finished, ¿Sí? teacher. No, nosotros un minutito necesitamos. Ok, sí, es que veo que la mayoría ya lo hizo. Así que mejor, mejor lo vamos pero a chequear. Compañera. Ajá, pero mi compañera no lo ha hecho todavía. Ok, we're going to help her. Ok, thank you. Uh, number two, who can tell me number two? One volunteer. Cookies for dessert. Me. All right, me. Go ahead, me. El tú. Go ahead. Cooking of four desserts. All right. What does mom need from the supermarket? What is your answer? Cookies for desserts. Excellent. Cookies for desserts. All right. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Por favor, mantenga su micrófono en silencio. Number three, Tatiana. Uh, read the question and the answer. What does the need from the drugstore? Aspirin. Perfect. Volunteer number four. 
Rolando, Rigoberto. Where is my going to the go with? Is that uh, to the drugstore to get a newspaper? Perfect. Let's check. Awesome. Very good. At this moment, does anybody have any questions about this activity? Questions about this activity, vocabulary or something like that? Okay. Not teacher. Not Very question. good. Excellent. We're going to go ahead and move forward. And we're going to look at section 3.3. .3. By the end of this class, you will learn to sound natural when saying compound nouns. Al final de esta clase, aprenderán a sonar natural cuando están diciendo sustantivos compuestos. Listen, please. No se escucha, profe. No se escucha. No hay audio. No se escucha, teacher. No se escucha, teacher. I can listen. Teacher, no se escucha. No hay sonido, teacher. Okay, now for this activity, you are going to pronounce this teacher, vocabulary. No escuchamos nada de, de, de lo que dijo el profesor ahí en la clase. Oh, no, sorry no about that. No tenía audio. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry about that. Department store. Now it's your turn to practice. What I would like for you to do next is to practice these compound nouns and record yourself using the website, bocaroo.com. After you finish this activity, Share your work in our discussion forums. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn to sound natural when expressing. Can you hear? Can everybody hear? Let's get started by. Yes, yes, yes. 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 Compound yes. nouns. Notice the stress in these compound nouns post office, gas office. station, gas station, restroom, restroom, coffee shop. Coffee shop. Drugstore. Drugstore. Supermarket. Supermarket. Bookstore. Bookstores. Department store. Department I would like store. to start off by explaining what compound nouns are. 
Okay, everybody listen and repeat. Post office. Post office. Post office. Gas station. Gas station. Gas station. Restroom. Restroom. Coffee shop. Coffee shop. Drug store. Drug store. store. Supermarket. 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 Book store. Book store. Department store. Department store. All right. So, lo que va a hacer es que se va a grabar diciendo estas palabras y las va a hacer en la plataforma vocaroo.com mm -hmm. mm -hmm. like this mm -hmm. bookstore supermarket drug store cuando termine va a ir y dice guardar y compartir va a copiar el link y lo va a escribir donde dice añade una publicación y va a poner acá compound nouns y lo va a pegar aquí y de allí enviar any questions okay no no question not teacher okay Let's finish watching the video. What is the website, teacher? Vocaroo.com. Vocaroo.com. Nos puede hacer el favor de compartir siempre la now, captura de pantalla. Equals yes. A person, a place, Solo. Or, Solo tres vamos a pronunciar, pero todas. Es, todas. Post office, gas is, station, okay. restroom, all of them. Compound nouns are a combination between two words that make up a new noun. For example... Me send the screenshot of WhatsApp group? That is correct. Gas, the word by itself, is a noun. Station is a noun. Together, they make up a different noun. Now that we understand what compound nouns are, I would like to dig into stressing these compound nouns. Stressing words in English is a big topic. However, in this class we're going to make it short and simple and stick to compound nouns only. So the simple rule that we can follow is whenever we have a compound noun, we usually stress the first word or the first noun. This means that we're going to say the first word louder than the rest. Let me read these compound nouns again. I would like for you to practice with me as well. Post office. Post gas office. Gas station. Gas station. Restroom. Restroom. Coffee shop. Coffee shop. Drug store. Drug store. Supermarket. Supermarket. Book store. Book store. Department store. store. Department now store. Now turn to practice. What I would like for you to do next. All right, so I would like for you to do this on Vocaroo and then you are going to write it, copy it in your platform. All right, at this moment, we are going to take the attendance uh, screenshot. So everybody, please turn on your camera. Everybody, please turn on your camera. Momentarily, only one minute, please. Okay. All right. Ready? Everybody say cheese. All right. That's one. One more. Give me just a second. All right, ready, say cheese. All right, thank you. You can turn off the camera if you want. 
Now we're going to take the attendance. When I call your name, please say present. When I call your name, please say present. The first one is Carlos Daniel. I'm here, teacher. Present. Present. Today is the 25th. Present. Okay, excellent. Delmi Sarai. Absent. Edgar Crespin. Absent. Present, teacher. Oh, sorry. Present. Edith Garcia. Present. Present. Edwin Monge. Present, teacher. Present. Linda Martinez. Present. Present. Maria Moran. Present, teacher. Present. Maria Granadeño. Present, teacher. Present. Noemi Ramirez. Present. Present. Olga Cañas. Present. Present. Oscar Guerrero. Oscar Guerrero. Absent. Paola Alvarado. Present, teacher. Present. Rafael Morales. Present. Present. Raquel Hueso. Present, teacher. Present. Raúl Zarzeño. <laughs> Present, teacher. Present. René Vizcarra. Present. Present. Rodrigo Antonio Meléndez. Present. Rodrigo Daniel Meléndez. Present. Rolando Rigoberto Aquino. Rolando Rigoberto Aquino. Present. Present. Rosa Polanco. Present. Ruby Guardón. Present. Ruth Guzmán. Present. Sandra Olano. Present. 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 Sarai Ruiz. Present. Tania Soriano. Present teacher. Tatiana Colindres. Present. Telma Calles. Eh, guys, si no va a decir presente, por favor, mantenga su micrófono en silencio. Gracias. Sorry, guys. Okay, one more time. Telma Calles. Guadalupe. Telma Guadalupe. Absent. Vanessa Ramirez. Present teacher. Thank you. Shomara Arabia. Teacher. Thank you. Sochi Olmedo. Present. Thank you. Okay. Thank you guys. 
let us continue. Are you ready? Yes, teacher. All right. Yeah. Any questions at this moment? Questions no at question. this moment? Okay. Let's go. Okay, excellent. Hello. Hello. How are you? Uh, fine. Are you ready? Uh, very good. Yes. Okay. I did it. Really. Could you repeat that, please? I did it. Ya lo hice. Ah, oh, okay. You are very fast. <laughs> um, yo ahorita. Um, I'm going to start in this moment. Excuse me. I'm going to start in this moment. Sí, yes. Okay. Vamos a I'm ver. Trying. la señal del GPS. Come no, come, come, yeah. no. Tell me. Post office, gas station, rest room, coffee shop, drug store, supermarket, boot store, Department store. Okay, it's my turn. Post office, gas station, restroom, coffee shop, drug store, supermarket, book store, department store. Very good. Thank you. Post office, gas station, restroom. Coffee shop, grocery store, supermarket, bookstore, department store. Very good. Vamos a compartir. Save and share. Plataforma. Save and share is the option. Ya, ya compartí yo mi conversación en la plataforma. I need to share mine. Vamos a seguir repasando lo que es la, pronun la pronunciación o... Yes. Yes. I believe that it's... No. Down. 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 
bus office. Gas station. Rest room. Coffee shop. Drug store. Super. Are you finished? Uh, yes. Okay, it's my turn. Post office, gas station, restroom, coffee shop, drugstore, supermarket, bookstore, department store. Excellent. Turn, Tatiana. Tatiana. Okay. Post office, gas station, restroom, coffee shop, drugstore, supermarket, bookstore, department store. Good job. Excellent. Hay tiempo todavía. Seguimos. One more time. You start, Rolando. Hello. Hola. Uh, it's time to go. Bye. <laughs> Bye. All right. Let me have one volunteer. One volunteer. One volunteer. Okay, Noemi. Everybody listen and pay attention to Noemi. Okay, bus office, gas station, restroom, coffee shop, drugstore, supermarket, bookstore, department store. Perfect. Applause for Noemi. Good job. Bravo. Okay. Now let me listen to Rolando. Okay. Post office, gas, gas station, rest room, coffee shop, drugstore, supermarket, boot store, department store. Perfect. Applause for Rolando. Another volunteer? Me. All right, Rafael. Post office, gas station, restroom, coffee shop, drug store, supermarket, bookstore, department store. Perfect. Applause for the participants. All right. Now, um, what we're going to do is move forward. We're going to look at the following activity. 3.5. By the end of this class, you will learn prepositions of place in order to give directions. Additionally, you will practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Al final de esta clase, aprenderán preposiciones de lugar para dar direcciones. Además, practicarán una conversación la cual ilustra cómo se utiliza este tema in un entorno de la vida real. Listen, please. Prepositions of place. In this class, you'll learn prepositions of place in order to give directions. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, It's Across from the Park. Let's listen and... Todos escuchan? Yes. Yes, 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 teacher. Yes, yes, teacher. Okay. Excuse me, can you help me? Is there a public restroom around here? A public restroom? Hmm. I'm sorry, I don't think so. Oh, no. My son needs a restroom. 
Well, there's a restroom in the department store on Main Street. Where on Main Street? It's on the corner of Main and First Avenue. On the corner of Main and First? Yes, it's across from the park. You can't miss it. Thanks a lot. Now, I would like to talk about prepositions of place. Let's practice the following prepositions and phrases. On. On the corner of. Across from. Next to. Between. The department store is on Main Street. It's on the corner of Main and First. It's across from the park. It's next to the bank. The bank is between the department store and the restaurant. Let's take a look at our map now. And let me point out the locations mentioned. The department store. The department store is on Main Street. It's on the corner of Main and First. It's across from the park. It's next to the bank. The bank is between the department store and the restaurant. On the images, you can see the meaning of each preposition. Let's analyze the preposition on. We will use the preposition on to make reference that a place is on a particular street. If we take a look at the map on the screen, I'll make more examples using the preposition on. Gus gas station. Gus's gas station is on First Avenue. The U.S. Post Office. The U.S. Post Office is on Center Street. Let's talk about the preposition on the corner of. If we analyze our example, the department store is on Main Street. It's on the corner of Main and First Avenue. Now let me give a couple of other examples using on the corner of. The movie theater is on the corner of Park Street and Main Street. The supermarket is on the corner of Main Street and 2nd Avenue. Let's move on with the preposition next to. Our example shows the department store is next to the bank. We could also say Maria's restaurant is next to the bank. Finally, the preposition between. As you can see on this map, the bank is between the department store and Maria's restaurant. Now it's your turn to practice. I would like for you to give the location of all the places on this map. For example, try to answer the following questions using prepositions. Where is Gus's gas station? Where is the hospital? Where is the U.S. Post Office? Where is Second Avenue Bookstore? Where is Dam's Drugstore? After you finish this activity, okay. In this activity, you are going to answer the questions. Va a copiar la pregunta. Where is Gus's gas station? Y va a dar la dirección. Where is the hospital? Y va a dar la dirección. Y lo vamos a escribir acá en el discussion forum. Any questions? You will write at least five examples. Do you understand? Yes, teacher. Sure. All right, five examples in pairs. In pairs. Five examples in pairs.
a hair in the past. Yes. yes. Where is the hospital? But I don't remember Where what, what the are the answers. Where is Second Avenue Bookstore? For example, the first is. What, God, what is the first question? Where is gas, gas station? Where is the gas station? Yes. And the other one? Where is the hospital? See that. Could you give us the other question, please, Tatiana? Where is the U.S. Post Office? Office. The other is where is Second Avenue Bookstore? Could you repeat that, please? Second Avenue Bookstore. Avenue. The last one is where is Dam's Drop Store? Dam Drop Store. Okay. It's on the corner of Main and Maria's restaurant. Excuse me. Can you help me? Hi. Hey, what's going on? <laughs> Good Empezamos. Yeah, Rodrigo Antonio Melendez Morales. Hola, hola. Estaba buscando el manual para poder tener la imagen. Estoy en el teléfono. Oh. Ahorita recién lo iba abriendo. Y como al principio estaba solo yo. Yo también estaba sola. <risa> <risa> A tomar la captura de pantalla voy. Bueno, ahí Hi, Crispin. Hello, hello. Hi. Oh. All right. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. <laughs>
All right, ladies and gentlemen, time is up. Please continue working on the platform. Don't stop. Don't stop. And we will see you tomorrow. Okay. Good night. See you tomorrow. Thank you very Bye. much. Good night. Good night. Bye. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Good night. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.